Hello everybody, Banda Brains here and welcome back to another Valheim guide. In this guide I'm going to show you how to utilize a warehouse world and how it can be used for transporting large amounts of materials over very far distances in the space of two minutes. Obviously we have portals but you're not allowed to take ore through portals at this current stage of the game. Now, I understand why they've done that, and it's a good thing really, in my opinion. They want Valheim to be a game where you're encouraged to travel across the world and experience all the different things that the world has to offer as you go. And that's absolutely fine, that's cool. And if that's what you want to do, do it. But if you're at that stage of the game where you've done a lot of your exploration, you've done a lot of your upgrades, and you just want to build, here's a way you can transport your resources around really quickly and really easily and just get to building. Frankly, if you haven't done those things yet and you haven't experienced the world, go out and do it. I promise you it's gonna be some of the most fun you've had in a game in ages and you won't regret it. But for all you other people, let's get into the guide. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make a new world for your warehouse. The warehouse doesn't even have to be that big, it just has to have enough chests for you to transport the load that you're gonna be moving across the large area in your main world. So here's my simple little warehouse, it's easy to build, didn't take long and it's just got a load of chests on the back wall there for me to put my things in when I need to. Spend as long or as little as you want with this, but I will warn you that it is important to have a physical warehouse. If you just have chests out in the open, uh, chances are they're going to be destroyed while you've logged off. When I was testing this out, I put some chests out in the open, filled it with loads and loads of copper, and when I came back to it a few hours later, uh, there were no chests and definitely no copper, so I lost like an hour of my life, basically. Uh, so it's important that you do protect your chests. So with your warehouse built, log off next to your chests and switch back over to your main world. If you wanted to know the basic concept of a warehouse world, then you can skip forward to step six, but I wanted to use a mining trip to give you an example uh, on how you can speed it up and make your life a whole lot easier. So if that interests you, stick around for steps four and five. If not, skip forward like I said. If you're like me and you've done a lot of mining in this game, you know it can become very tedious when it comes to the part where you have to ferry everything back to your base because this can take multiple trips. And without being able to transport ores through portals, it means that the journey can be very long and you might have to do that journey multiple times. Not only that, but the stone and ores that you'll be collecting are very heavy, so you'll become over encumbered very quickly, meaning you can transport less stone and ore at a time. I'm going to start off here by setting up camp at a copper deposit and my camp will consist of a shelter with a workbench and a bed so that I can pass the night and a couple of chests so that I can chuck all of the ore and stone that I gather ready for the warehouse world. Once you've done this you can start mining, get as much as you want if you need to build more chests and keep going until you've got as much as you need. I'm going to be mining tin, copper and stone and I'm going to keep going until I've filled at least a couple of chests. When you feel like you've got enough resources, go back to your chest, empty your inventory of any junk and fill your inventory with all of the resources that you want to transport. If you go over the carrying capacity, don't worry, you can go as far over that as you want. We're not actually going to be moving while we're over encumbered, so this doesn't really matter. When your inventory is full, log off and switch back to your warehouse world. Once you're there, simply empty all of your inventory into the warehouse chests and then switch back to the main world with an empty inventory. If you have more materials that need to go back to the warehouse, then repeat steps 6 and 7, but if not, it's time to head back to your home base. At this point, if you have access to portals, you can put one down and head back to the home base that way. That will make your trip even quicker, but if not, you're going to have to do the journey by foot. This is saving you from doing this journey multiple times, which will save you time in the long run. Once you get back to your home base, go over to the chest where you're going to be transferring the items over to and log off. Log back onto your warehouse world and fill your inventory with all of the resources you just collected. Again, it doesn't matter if you get over encumbered, just fill up the inventory and hop back over to your main world. Once you're back in your main world, that's it. You can empty all of the resources you collected in one back into your chest and you've done your whole mining trip in one journey instead of doing multiple back and forth trips with a lot of items. And that's pretty much it. I know it's quite a basic guide and a lot of people probably use this method, 
but it's almost so simple that you might not even think about it. And there might even be some people out there who haven't even considered the fact that you can use the continuous inventory for one character to bring materials in from another world. But nevertheless, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. So thank you very much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.